Hello, my crazy friends. It's Jenny, and we're got to talk because millions of people in the United States have lost their food subsidy, which means they're going to be spending more money on things they use every day. And, well, it's time to help them out. And you want to know how we can do that, and it just might help you too. So come on in, and let's talk about it. And, of course, if you're not one of our crazy friends, well, you want to know too. Because this is concerning. Everybody's got to eat. And everybody likes to save money. And if you're not one of our crazy friends and you like those two things, well, go ahead, subscribe. Promise we won't fail you. So below, hit the subscription button and that notification bell. And make sure it says all. And make sure your YouTube settings also says all on your notifications. All right, everybody. Well, what am I talking about? Well, in the last week or so, the COVID-19 food subsidy ended. So those folks that were getting extra SNAP benefits are no longer getting SNAP benefits. And that includes some folks that are in their 70s. It includes some folks that are still out of work and have kids at home. Uh, theirs will change a little, but not a whole lot. But those of us who it's really going to hit hard are the ones of us that are working for minimum wage and make just a little bit too much to qualify for any significant amount of SNAP benefits. And what do I mean by that? Well, believe it or not, they are some individuals out there that are 65 years and older living off of less than a thousand dollars a month off of social security or disability benefits and their food stamp allotment is fifty dollars a month now you tell me what you can buy anymore on fifty dollars a month with loaves of bread Cheapest being $2, and you can't really qualify them as actual bread. Milk being more than a gallon of gas. And simple clean water. You got to purchase to drink. Okay? So, I mean, come on. And that's not including things like toilet tissue and personal hygiene items that you're having to pay for out of your pocket anyway. You're going to be having to add that to now what you have to purchase for food. Now, during this subsidy, these people that are below and fall normally through the cracks was actually getting assistance. And now they're not going to be. And it's going to make a big big difference especially with summer coming on so we're going to try to help where we can and we're going to direct most of our next couple of videos towards food um, there's not a whole lot of coupons out there for food so what we do get is essential and it's just like when you're couponing for anything else when it comes to saving money we might have to change our perspective Whereas before we never ate Quaker oatmeal chewy bars, well, we may start to eat them now because you have a dollar coupon and it's going to be cheaper and it's going to give your kids something to snack on and hopefully not be as bad as a candy bar. Yeah. But there's things that you can do with that too, that if that's a must, that we can help you out there too. Sweet things that you would normally not be able to afford sometimes, even with SNAP benefits, you're not going to be able to afford it all unless you're getting some sort of deal. And we can help you with that as well. So let's jump in and look at some of these food items that can help you out and how we can combine it with some other things in the scenarios to make it even cheaper on Saturday. If nothing else, it'd be $5 cheaper. And if you hear all that little racket in the background, it is the birds. I'm sitting outside again. So, let's talk about breakfast items. 
you got the chewy Quaker cereal bars. These are three dollars a piece, basically, and you've got a dollar off, so you'll be getting two for five dollars. That's last year's price, but let's count ourselves lucky that we, as couponers, can still pay it this year. <laughs> Now the Cliff Bars. Let's see about the Cliff Bars. Cliff Bars are three seventy-five. You've got a dollar off of one, so that's two seventy-five for, for really nutritious snacks, right there. You can, you know, substitute the fruit and stuff that you would normally put in the lunch boxes, um, maybe for a protein bar, uh, or a breakfast bar. Whereas you know. Even a breakfast bar or a protein bar for breakfast with a glass of milk or a glass of protein builder because we have 50 cent off of that. And I believe these are 175. Oh, these are 250, I guess, because they have the extra protein in them. If you got a finicky child who doesn't want to eat, but they still need to get all their goodies, well, this is a good way to get it in them. Get that chocolate protein builder for two dollars and fifty cent and you'll get it for two dollars now we got 50 cent on nature valley granola bars on two between the two i'd go for the chewy when it comes to these variety pack chips you are better off doing the buy nine get one free individual chips than using this dollar coupon it's only by about 50 cent but you get to pick and choose what you want in your box. So you know everything will be eaten. We've got a new coupon too, guys. Actually, two. And I'm super excited because I just went to the store last night and only got one box of Klondike bars. There's only six in that. <laughs> so, yeah, we need more. And we've got a $2 coupon on Klondike bars. Ben and Jerry's ice cream or Briar's ice cream. Again, another great way to try to get ahead of everything for summer when they're actually out of school. This stuff freezes well, okay, if, as long as it's not opened up. Now, one of the things that you can do to help it keep a little bit longer and make it fresher is actually wrap this up in some aluminum foil before you put it in your deep freezer. Next, we got Hellman's Mayonnaise Coupon. Okay, this is everyday stuff we use all the time. This is a dollar coupon. This is usually 50 cents, so this is a good coupon. A dollar off of Pringles, or the Cheez-Its, or the Cheez-It Puffs. The Pringles is your better deal. They're two for five. You're gonna get them two for four. A uh, dollar off your drumsticks. Again, if your kids like these, you use these, you know, put them in a scenario. It's a great way to still get them and save some money. Denny more beef stew. Take this beef stew, put it in a casserole dish, okay? Layer the top of it with canned biscuits or biscuit dough. Put it in the oven until that canned biscuits or biscuit dough is totally brown on top. Done. Pull it out, and it's a beef pop pie, guys. Super cheap and great emergency food. A dollar off a of Heinz ketchup. Again, this is stuff that we use every day. But when it comes to stuff like the Heinz ketchup, unless you are brand Pacific, items like ketchup and mustard, the store brands are just as good. Just saying. And they are a lot cheaper, even cheaper than when we have a coupon, unless we are combining it with some other items. Now, these are just a few of our food items that we've got coupons for. Of course, we have our s'mores deal, where you're going to get free honey, honey made graham crackers when you purchase the milk chocolate and the marshmallows. The marshmallows are two dollars. The milk chocolate is four sixty-five. So for six dollars and sixty-five cent, you're going to get the graham crackers, which is normally five dollars, guys. This is a deal. 
right here. This is a deal. And you don't have to make s'mores. All right? You don't have to do that. I don't care for s'mores myself. But you know what? I love a roasted marshmallow. I love marshmallows in general. I like graham crackers just as a quick snack. And, well, <laughs> the Hershey's chocolate bars don't stand a chance all by themselves. So, you don't have to use this in making s'mores. But it is an awesome, awesome deal. So, these is some deals to help get you going, get your mind working. And I'll get you a couple of scenarios going with some of these food items, guys. And these aren't the only food items that we have. These are just the ones that I haven't clicked yet. We've got the dollar off of two. Uh, and uh, it's not Angel Mama syrup no more. Pearl milling <laughs> syrup and pearl milling pancake mix. We have a dollar off of that. We've got the dollar off of three, the rice aroni cups and boxes. They're same price. So, a dollar off when you spend five on family side Nabisco cookies and crackers. Now, what happens here is you, you got, they have it for $4.95. And, yep, $4.95, $4.95. Oh, 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 Lorna Dunes for $6.95. There you go. If you like Lorna Dunes, there's your dollar off. You'll get them for $5.25. Other than that, all your others... You're going to have to pick up two to make get that dollar off. Now, we still have the Snickers deal that you can do because we still have that $2 off. We actually have two that will work with that. We've got the dollar coupon for individual sodas. These are working on the Fanta and the Raspberry, which are a little cheaper. Our Reese's coupon went up to $9.00. Uh, but we also have this brand new buy one, get one free Pepsi and pizza coupon. So you're going to get a Red Baron pizza and then you're going to get a two liter Pepsi for free. That's a winner win a deal, guys. Buy three uh, brisk iced teas, get one free. Again, if you, know, you use those beverages, it's great ways to save money. The chips and salsa. On my last deal with the Pepsi glitch, check that out. It goes great with that deal, but you'll save a dollar fifty. And the chips are three, I think sixty-five, and the dip is three dollars. So it's all you know, it's a good coupon. A dollar off of an Eggo waffle or toaster sticks. This is a good coupon. Now these are just some of your best food deals so far. There's more deals. All you've got to do is go and clip them and we'll put together some other scenarios for you for Saturday that's going to include some of these food coupons so blessings and I'll talk to you again real soon